Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Occasionally, the posterior palatal seal may prove to be inadequate and additional material must be added. The first step would be to adjust the occlusion. After the occlusion is adjusted, you'll develop a functional posterior palatal seal. Place a very thin film of sticky wax along the posterior border of the maxillary denture with the hot end of a number seven spatula. Apply number four correcto wax to the posterior border of the maxillary denture. Then reposition the maxillary denture in the mouth of the patient and have it hold moderate pressure for about five minutes. Remove the denture and inspect the posterior palatal seal. The seal is adequate if the correcto wax is smooth, indicating it has flowed and is in contact with the oral tissues and if the retention is maintained when moderate pressure with a lateral component is applied unilaterally in the maxillary first bicuspid region. The next step is to use wet asbestos to block out all undercuts in the anterior residual ridge area and posterior in the tuberosity area. Lubricate the entire internal surface of the denture with tinfoil substitute. Mix a small amount of impression plaster and vibrate it into the residual ridge area of the posterior palatal seal. Place the remaining impression plaster on a glass slab. Carefully settle the denture into the plaster. Then smooth. After the impression plaster has set, carefully tease the denture from the impression plaster cast. If the cast fractures in the area of the posterior palatal seal, a new cast must be made. Now trim the cast with a model trimmer and the laboratory knife. 
Using the laboratory knife, place a trough at the midpoint of the impression plaster cast to act as an escape way for excess acrylic resin material. Then scrub with a brush and detergent to remove all wax from the impression plaster cast and from the denture surface. Use an acrylic burr to freshen the posterior palatal seal site by grinding the internal surface of the maxillary denture. Pay tin foil substitute over the entire surface of the impression plaster cast. Next, cleanse the maxillary denture of all debris. Then using a small paintbrush, wet the prepared area of the maxillary denture with some of the liquid monomer. Then dip the wet brush into the powder polymer and paint some of the acrylic resin onto the posterior palatal seal site on the impression plaster cast. Add more monomer and polymer until the site is slightly overfilled. When this is done, place the maxillary denture back into the impression plaster cast and be sure it's seated securely. Then set the cast and denture aside for approximately five minutes until the acrylic resin reaches the doughy stage. After the acrylic resin has reached the doughy stage, place the denture and cast in a rubber bowl of lukewarm water for about 10 to 15 minutes. After the acrylic resin has hardened, remove the denture from the cast. Smooth and contour the repaired areas with an arbor chuck with vulcanite burrs and then polish with pumice. Note the repair is smooth and without sharp edges. The posterior palatal seal blends into the denture and is free from defects in the acrylic. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.